The Isle Royale Lab in EcoBeaker uses the Moose and Wolf community on Isle Royale in the middle of Lake Superior to talk about population growth and predator-prey dynamics. The lab is based on a classic long-term study and is geared toward introductory biology classes. Students begin by familiarizing themselves with the species being studied on the island. They can click on individuals to see close-up pictures and read background natural history on each species from our library on the right. To do the lab, students follow detailed instructions in a workbook that you'll see in a minute and select exercises from a menu at the top of the screen. The story begins around 1900, when the lake froze during a very cold winter. Some moose walked across the ice and reached the island where abundant food and no competitors allowed the population to grow exponentially. As the moose begin reproducing, students can see the population grow both on the island view and also in the line graph to the right. Putting the intuitive island view next to the graph helps students who may have trouble with graphs interpret what the line means. When the population stabilizes, we first ask students to qualitatively compare the moose growth curve to the logistic growth equation as a way of exploring why that equation is useful. Next, we have them think about what carrying capacity means. To do that, the students must predict what will happen to the population size if the lake froze again and a bunch more moose walked across to the island. Once they make their prediction, they can do the experiment using a transplant tool. Here I'm transplanting 200 more moose to the island. When I continue running the model, I can see if my prediction was correct. The story continues around the end of World War II, when the lake froze again during another cold winter. This time, a pack of wolves walked across the ice. With a huge population of moose, it was now a wolf paradise on the island, and as the wolf population grew, researchers started to see predator-prey cycles between the moose and wolves. We asked students to describe and explain these cycles. To explore the effects of predation, students sample the health of the moose with and without wolves present. Using the examination tool, they can click on individual moose to see the fat stores present in that moose. By sampling a number of moose with wolves, then taking away the wolves and sampling another set of moose, students can see some of the effects that wolves have on overall moose health. This also gives students some experience with sampling and simple statistics. The final set of experiments asks students to imagine that global climate change may alter the growing environment for the plants in the model, either causing them to grow slower or faster. Students change the plant growth rate and observe the effects on both the carrying capacity of moose and the predator-prey cycles. Explaining some unexpected effects of changing growth rates serves as the capstone for the lab. An extension activity at the end of the lab uses the data that students collected on moose health with and without wolves to learn how to do a t-test. Just like all our labs, we have a very detailed workbook that takes the students through all the experiments step by step. The workbook also includes data tables, spaces for diagrams, and spaces for them to answer questions and make predictions as they are asked to do those things. So although, just as with all our labs, we recommend doing this one in class, it's also very suitable for a homework or for an online class where the students are going to be working independently. If you would like to see a sample of this lab or any of our others, go ahead and get in touch with us and we'll be happy to get you more information on the program in the labs. Thanks very much.